the, the little red thing is on. Ah, that means mistake. things are happening. Harry from Harry and the Guitar already turned the camera on. Oh, that was cheeky of him. Hey, Harry. We weren't Hi. really expecting that. Yeah. It's far too no. early, I mean. I'm here with Lee from uh, Ashdown Engineering. Um, they make bass things, but also guitar things, which we've already shown yeah. uh, and kind of heard a little bit from uh, Guitar Summit. That video isn't out yet. No. We're already at the next trade show. I know. You, but, you need to hurry up. What are you doing? <laughs> but, Jesus. But, but you have new things, so <laughs> we do. What, is, is there anything new here? Well, yeah, we have a few things on this corner that's new. Uh, we've looked at the compressors. They're yeah, different yeah, compressors. They're all good, but what we've had done is we've introduced some smaller, more affordable pedals as well. Okay. Because obviously the big ones are sort of the UK handmade jobs, which are great, and they'll stay as they are. We've seen those. But then we've got some smaller Pro effects. So we've got a Retro Drive, which is um, a guitar pedal, a uh, vintage fuzz, and a twin band boost. So on this, you can have a user's treble booster, and you have a full signal boost as well. So you can just treble boost, or full signal boost, or go crazy, do all of it. Gives you roughly 20 dB of boost when you've got everything up. Now, if you only knew channels that do pedal reviews, I know. Yeah, wouldn't that? Like, we oh, should I keep be... I keep looking for people. I spend all my time on YouTube, and no one ever comes up that seems, <laughs> you know, seems professional and capable of doing any kind of reviews. I mean, if you find somebody, you, Harry, you can always message. Harry is great, and he's yeah. in the UK. You can literally drive over there, yeah. you know, have a cup of tea, and then you know, we, review the pedals. We do that. Yeah, we drink tea, we drink coffee, then we do the things. He's in Manchester. Ah, okay. It's probably very close to you because it's all just no, the it's same not. thing. No, it's not. No, it's not. But uh, but I'm from Stoke-on-Trent, which is about 40 minutes from Manchester. So I know Manchester very well. But we're down in Essex, so it's about ah, three hours from Manchester. So you Jeez. should definitely send him the fuzz because he's a fuzz man. Oh, okay. Well, you'll like this one. So we'll get one to you. Sweet. And uh, yeah, but I mean, these are literally the first ones we've got of each one at the moment. So we'll get some coming in. But cool. um, and we've also got a sub octave, which is kind of like the octave that's on our amps. So we've been asked for that a lot over the years. That's oh, his thing as well. So he, he's, he's the classic -y indie Hendrixy yeah. man. Well, if you combine that with the fuzz, then it's epic, massive tones. So, uh, yeah, we, we can do that. And then we had the triple shot drive, so we've now done a double shot drive, which is a simplified version, twin band as opposed to three band. So you can uh, distort the lows or distort the highs or one or the other or both or go crazy. Um, Let me ask you a question. Mm. You make bass amps. Yes. You make pedals for guitars and bass. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're pretty prolific at it. Mm -hmm. Also good, which mm -hmm. is another word for that. Mm -hmm. Now, wouldn't it make sense if, with all the connections you have in this world with the bass players and you know the people that go the slap, <coughs> slap, um, to like maybe add bases under your amazing name to the brand? That'd be a good thought. I mean, you have business I mean, sense. I mean, it, you have business it, it, sense. Look do, at the booth. Do. You know we what do, you do. do. I bet. You suck at building bases. Probably. And I know a lot of bass players that literally sit in their basement with their sandals on, you know, smoking one, but they're insane at building bases, like uh, Magnus uh, from Magnus Guitars and Bases, yeah, for yeah, example. Yeah. Magnus is insane, but he literally can't sell a bass to save his life. No, no, no. Exactly. And I assume because there's, 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 there's two very different things. You can be somebody who makes a great product, but yeah. you might not be somebody who knows how to get that product into the market or anything like that, which is obviously what we do. So I recommend so to if, you, if go only, out, find one of those amazing base builders, maybe someone with a name, and combine your brand with theirs. Mm, if only we knew such a person. Yep. If only there was somebody who was very well respected and possibly American who'd been make, making bases for a very long time, who'd kind of lost his way a little bit. Hmm, maybe if we go this way, maybe we already did that. No, poor Harry has the parent to <laughs> You know, it's Harry Carey. Harry Carey. Uh, get it? Well, See what I did there? Yeah, that could end, See, that could end badly, couldn't <laughs> it? Doesn't usually end well. Okay. Well, Henny. What we have here is a jazz bass. Is <laughs> probably about as far removed from jazz bass as you could get. Okay. <laughs> But what we've done is, uh, we have known Dan Lakin for a very, very long time. Now, Dan Lakin was the original guy behind Lakeland Basses, a fantastic luthier. He's a man who really knows his stuff. He knows how to make a great bass. He sold Lakeland a few years ago, and he's kind of been doing his own thing, making some US uh, handmade basses, which are great. But he's been struggling to get them out there, and he loves making basses. He doesn't really like the business side of it. So, who does? Who, who really? does? People just want to sell stuff. Networking, schmoozing with exactly, people you don't even like. Exactly. Mm. So 
we kind of had a little get together maybe it was three, four months ago and we said we should do something together because we would love to make some bases. We know you can make a great base. So we sat down and we designed a small range, uh, which we've done, and we're now launching at this show. So you've got four different bases. Uh, this one is possibly my favorite one. This one's called the Low Rider. Um, so we've got, uh, you know. A tally bridge. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, uh, a jazz bass neck. It's obviously a uh, from the bit inspired body. Uh, you've got Wilkinson Bridges, you've got hip shot tuners, you've got a bone nut, and wait, this is wait, the same for we, all the bases. We not that fast. Keep up. What? Keep up. Hip shot tuner, let Harry zoom okay. in. Okay. Beautiful hip shot tuners. Because all we have from. Huh? Speed up. Oh, the speed up. <laughs> a beautiful bone nut. Decent volute here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great nut pockets. Wilkinson Bridges. So, you know, everything we've done, very, very high specs. Trash um, adjustment down here, but no spoke yeah. wheel. No. Okay. No. Um, they're going to be made in Korea, so we've managed to keep them, you know, kind of affordable, which is good. And Loaded a, with uh, flat ones. That one is, yeah. We've got two of them here. One's got flat ones on, one's got uh, round ones on. So, it just thumps. But we've got that, and we've got uh, a couple more traditional shapes that people would probably be a bit more used to, as in that This is one. the black shape? Yeah, that's the black shape. Same uh, bridge? Same bridge. Passive? Passive, they're all passive. Uh, they're all our own pickups that we've helped tune and design, so the pickups sound great. And it has a lot of fingerprinty stuff on it. It does. This is the problem with black things, isn't it? You know, same as a black car or whatever, it's always difficult to keep clean. But they look great when they are clean. Love the headstock. Yep. Obviously, it's a slight variation on the, on the Lakin, Lakin headstock. So, uh, Keep shot again. And his name's, of course, on the back as well. So they designed in conjunction with Dan Lakin. Um, and the reaction's been great. And considering these are the first ones we've made, we're, we're really pleased with them. Um, and we're looking forward to getting So are there. these prototypes out of the factory that's going to make yeah, it? Yeah, well, I think they're, they're pretty much there. There's a couple of things we want to tweak before they go kind of out there into the wild. Uh, but for the first ones, we're, we're really pleased with them. So, Price point? They're going to be just under a thousand euros, uh, at about nine fifty. So uh, good value for money. You're getting a whole lot of base for that money. So uh, awesome. Yeah, there's a couple more around the other side because we've got a five string and we've also got a um, a little short scale base as well. I mean, if you wait two seconds. We're waiting. Dup, 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 dup. Oh. No. Oh, is it your just cute? Oh, go on. You're, you're, you're just very cute. <laughs> so, a little short scale jazz bass. That, that's not just like a little short scale jazz bass. It's literally everything is shrunk down. Yeah. yeah. It's a kid's bass. Yeah, but you know what? It's amazing how many guys are sort of taking these on the road now. Uh, you know, real players who, who are loving short, short scale basses. So, that's probably been one of the most popular ones here. Uh, you know what? You know who this bass is made for? Can you come in here for a second? I mean, this is literally really coming in, isn't it? This is <laughs> literally the jazz bass version of Colin Scott. Is it? Yeah, well look at it. It's tiny. Oh, so it is. You're yeah. right. Yeah. It's me after all. <laughs> Come on. Give me the camera. There you go, you can have fun with that. Oh, look at a little thing. A little thing. <laughs> That is the perfect size for me, you're right. Do you know, Super. I've always struggled with the bass guitar. Now, now I'll be able to play it properly. Found the right one. I found the right one. <laughs> you're right. Oh, I didn't realize they even made hardware that small. Yeah, you do now. And there you have it, and you've got one more. Uh, yeah, there is... Uh, this one as well, which is called the Saint, which is kind of a, this is a bit more of our own body shape. I'll put that here. And this yeah. is a jazz B bass, really. So, um, great variant of tones there. You've got B bass tones, you've got jazz bass tones. And this one's been really, really popular as well. It's four different colors. It's offset-y. It is offset -y. What colors? Silver, blue, red, white. It's five. I know. We just said, oh, four. there's, I did just say. I did say there's four. In addition I, to that. Because I'd forgotten it. Ah. But then I remembered it. So ah, that looks fine. OK. OK. So that's the basis. I mean, they're going to be available hopefully late March, early April. They'll start going into stores. So uh, we're very much looking forward to that. 
and then there are a couple more hamsters to look at. And Harry can probably just sweep across there because they're all the ones in the middle. So um, considering everybody's making very, very lightweight, tiny little base lamps, which we're doing as well with things like this, which is, that's a 500 watt head that weighs absolutely nothing. So that's a 500 watt base head, absolutely. So perfect for anybody who just wants something they can stick in the gig bag, take to a gig, have a great amp with them. So that again, March, April, that will be in stores. But then for the guys who are kind of serious and not wanting lightweight gear. For the silly guys. We've gone completely the other way. <laughs> and this is a 200 watt wall valve base head. Okay, now if Annie tries to pick that up, it's, it's probably going to end up in hospital. <laughs> wait, okay, okay, two days of NAM. I can do this, wait, wait, wait. Maybe if we combine forces, maybe. Oh, holy yeah, yeah, yeah. shit! Yeah. What is wrong with you guys? Well, yeah, but it sounds amazing. And, um, but how do you move that? Well, the thing is, the guys who are going to be using that are probably not the guys who are taking their own gear to the gig. Well, it'd be roadie friendly. That's not roadie friendly. It is in a case with wheels, it'll be all right. Because the whole point is it can be rack mounted, so it's going to go in a case, it's going to go in wheels. So it's going to be all right. But when you look at the back of it... Oh. <laughs> There's your output tubes. So you've got massive KT-88s in there. You've got four of those, which put out 200 watts. So for the guys who are just all about tone and all about real bass low end, that's probably going to be the amp for them. And all in three spaces? Yes. Which has been a mission, to get everything in like that, into a 3U rack with everything in there. And get it cooled. And keep it cool. Are there fans in here? Like there is a little, pumping? Yeah, there is a little fan in there. And of course, there will be grills on the back of the actual production ones, because we're not allowed to have it, so you can touch the tube. But, uh, for the prototype, it was fun. We made a, and again, in vein of rack gear becoming sort of popular again, we've done a new ABM rack head, um, which again is for kind of more the pro guys. Uh, Detented output knob. And input knobs. Yeah, and I mean, we do that for a while. No, no, but it's, no. it's, it's just an easier way of knowing where you set, because if you've got a bass that's pretty high output or pretty low output, at least you know how many clicks it is. Yeah. So it's easy to do. Um, and I mean, the own, this is us, the geezer butler. So, I mean, we think he's got a bright future. We've got high hopes for him. Uh, I haven't like, heard of him, but I mean, uh, I mean he's, 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 been, he's been putting his name out there. I've been coming guy. Black Sabbath, you know, I think they're going to be okay. So, uh, is that the project that Britney Spears is working on? I believe so. Okay. I believe so. She's written all the music at least. I don't know if she's performing with the band, but she's definitely done all the lyrics. And producing. Yes. Yeah. And the mastering and everything. I think she's doing their PR. She's, you know, she's on it. She knows how to build a brand. Absolutely. Yeah, especially when it's sort of, you know, almost satanic metal. She loves that. You know, she's, she's going to go for it. That's what she's known for. I know. I know. And then, I can feel the breeze. Yeah. Air cooled. Air cooled. That's how we do it. And I love that it's a total metal chassis. Yeah. And then there's a leather handle on the side. Can you get that? To have leather. It's all about leather. Yeah, yeah. I think I love that. Why is Dave sending me a picture of the bases. Dave, why are you sending me a picture of the... We just looked at them. <laughs> it's for Michelle. Because he really likes well, them. Now Michelle already really knows that the bases them. are here and he he's not going to watch my video now. Take the picture back. Can't take the Damn picture it. Back. It's just gone wrong. It was That's it was one going, less was, click. Was, Dave, you suck. Yeah. Cheddar Kung Pao sucks. Yeah. Unsubscribe from Cheddar Kung Pao. He's yeah, like, yeah. like the side down. <laughs> It was going so well. Yeah. It was going so well. Uh, the only other couple of things to, to probably look at of interest for you guys uh, is if we go around this way again, back to where we were. Oh, I'm Harry, sorry, I'm so sorry. sorry. And it's Saturday, the feet are hurting and things. Okay. This here, the black pedal, is a 200 watt full bass amp in a pedal. So uh, I know some people seem to be doing ones that are 20 watts and things like that at the moment, but there's not really any point to that. Uh, this is a 200 watt real bass amp in a pedal. And we've also- It's the bass hand. It's the bass hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's I'm waving to people because people are coming in. But with this, you can have this on your pedal board. Uh, if you're using preamps or whatever, you can obviously put those in front. So we know a lot of guys who are using helixes and all that kind of stuff. So put that in front. This is your power amp. You've then got a free band EQ as well. You can then, you've got a DI, so you can run straight to the PA. You've got a speaker out, so you can run 
22. So it's meant as a power amp, yes. not a full bass amp. No, but it can be. This is the thing, when we were doing it, we were like, well, we may as well put a micro little preamp into it, which is why you've got a three band EQ. So you can literally turn up at a gig with that pedal, put it on the floor. If the venue's got a cabinet or two, run it into the cabinet, so run it into the PA, have your bass, a couple of pedals, you're good to go. So, or, or you could use the original valve you something. Could. Exactly. I mean, we've paired this here with our original valve preamp. So you've got that. You can get all your tone shaping. You've got drive in there as well. Run that into your amps, and you've got so many different tones uh, in there on a tiny little pedal board. So for the guys who are doing fly dates or the guys who are going to gigs on the tube or on the bus or something, can't take an amp, uh, that's going to be the way to go. So we're really, really pleased with but, that. But out. if that's here and that's the end yeah. and that's for bass, yes. what is the newt? The newt, well spotted, Henry. Yeah. The newt is the guitar version. So, of course, you've got to voice it differently for a, um, for a guitar player than a bass player. So you've got a free band EQ, it's voiced for guitar. Again, intended to take preamps or whatever in front of it or effects, but it gives you 200 watts of power uh, wherever you're going to need it. Pop it on the end of your pedal board and there you go. I so. love the layout because it's got everything here, but then the whole size is used for showing you. It's, it's a beautiful graphic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the thing is, Harry, doesn't that look like it's a very busy year for the YouTube reviewers? I mean, if you find some. If only we can find some. I mean, I hope when we get back from the show, I'll keep looking. I mean, for me, if I was a reviewer, which I apparently clearly am not, it would definitely be the nude, the ant, those pedals, that thing, uh, def and definitely bases. checking out the bases in one big ass video. Yeah. I mean, that's, I can see five to six videos minimum, plus the amps, which we only looked at at a yeah, trade show. Which, yeah, yeah. So that's seven, eight. I can see eight videos that you can pay me loads of money for. <laughs> but then of course, you don't know that I review things. So you know, find uh, some other people gonna, to I'm, work for I'm, you. I'm gonna keep looking. Uh, one day we will get our things on YouTube. This YouTube land. You know, I'm gonna try and, this is gonna be the year. Gonna this is gonna be the year, you this think? This is gonna be the year. I'm gonna get a video, man. <laughs> well, Lee, you work on that. Thank um, you, honey. <laughs> You know, we'll keep, look, as I said, let me know, man. You can contact me. So if you find some good YouTubers, any of you guys, just tell me. I'm really desperately looking for people who, you know, can do good quality content and get it out there for me, you know? Where's that heavy amp again so I can throw it at you? <laughs> you wouldn't even be able to pick it up to throw it <laughs> I can't, I literally can't. I want to see how, wait, wait, yes, yes. <laughs> My arms <are> like needle. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm not a bass player. Yeah, that's what you call a serious, a serious amp. So a lot of people don't really like them anymore, but, uh, but we do. So if you want a serious amp that, you know, you can never pick up and take anywhere, but sounds amazing, come and see us. And also, if you want a lightweight amp that sounds amazing, but you can pick up, come and see us. Harry. Yes. How do we end this? Um, animals at the end.